Miami needs this one, and Clemson always wants to hold serve at home. But Clemson's road record is what set their resume apart. This quintet of players has combined Jay to play in 561 games in their collegiate careers. And it starts with Joseph Gerard III, and he curled it right in the middle of the lane. That is a difficult shot, but his stroke so compact. And that's a difficult cover. Gerard was on George, and George showing no ill effects from the ankle as he turned the corner and laid it in. Matthew Cleveland with Ian Shefflin on him. Really, Miami's got four guards or four perimeter players around North Chad O'Meara, including Cleveland, who knocks down the corner three. And Clemson's going to want to make them put it on the deck rather than shoot from the catch spot. We asked Jim Laranaga this morning, when you re-watched the tape of the first game with Clemson, what did you see? And he said two things as Poplar knocks down to three. Great start for Miami. More than two and a half times as effective when the ball's moving. I was told there would be no math. <laughs> You're good at it, though. <laughs> moving the ball so you can get catch-and-shoot opportunities rather than dribbling too much and trying to create it on your own. Gerard to the trailer hall. Now back to Gerard's. Got deep, deep range, and he's got all five early for Clemson. Flying in his hall, but the rebound down to Wooga Poplar. Well, Wooga Poplar's been limping a lot lately, but it doesn't look like he's limping when he runs. He really gets up and down the floor quickly. Nice long stretch without a whistle in the early going. P.J. Hall knocks down the three, and it's all tied up at eight. But he plays like he's 6'11". He is a load. Got a chance to be first team all ACC as well. Chase Hunter from the corner. Three straight threes for the Tigers. But this year it's a no-brainer. But like you say, there's still a ways to go. R.J. Godfrey has checked in for Ian Shefflin. North Chad O'Meara running the floor. And that'll snap the 9-0 run and get the Canes back within one. Good ball movement by Miami. Shot clock at five. Poplar the kick. Bensley Joseph from the corner knocks down the Fantastic three. Fantastic shot fake to open up that catch and shoot opportunity for Bensley Joseph. And Joseph was terrific in the first game between these two at 12 points, six rebounds, and four steals. One of your favorite spots on the circuit? It's fantastic. Poplar from the baseline. Well, you cannot allow him to just come off the screen and catch and shoot on the short side of the floor. He has not quite looked like himself since suffering a sprained ankle December the 29th. Missed a couple of games, including the first game between these two teams. Well, and even when players are available, those particular players aren't at full strength. I mean, Matthew Cleveland, Jim Laranego saying, looked great in practice yesterday, but he's been struggling with that hit point. A little bit bigger lineup for Miami with Nwoko and Omir on the floor together. Trying to counter the size of Hall and Shefflin. Gerard again. Got it. He's got eight. Clemson by six. Joseph hoists the three and rattles it home. Well, good ball pressure there by O'Meara. Tough catch for Hall. And what they're doing is extending the catches. George ahead to Cleveland who slams it. And Miami gets back within four. Six and a half rebounds. And he's a good offensive rebounder as well. One of the most versatile players in the league. Missed two games and part of the third with a hip injury. Happy birthday to Jack Clark Jr. Gerard has been on George most of the game. I don't know if that you had to guess matchups at the beginning of the night. You would have thought this is where Gerard would be, but this is where he's been, and George beats him here, knocking down a three. Yet another long stretch without a whistle in this game. Well, that was a vertical contest by P.J. Hall, and that was looked upon as offense-initiated contact. Chase Hunter back to Gerard. Dylan Hunter in the game as well. Gerard inside, had it blocked. Here comes Joseph. And he fumbled it, and then Chase Hunter blocked it. Joseph for three in this broken, scrambly transition play. Well, remember that first game, Miami did all their damage after halftime. They scored 60 points in the second half, shot over 70%. Miami's lost two in a row coming into this one. Clemson's won two in a row. O'Meara with his second field goal of the night. Uh, but North Chad O'Meara deserves to be in that conversation. This spins off Jack Clark and Ian Shefflin doesn't come over to show him. to show North Chad O'Meara a lot of bodies inside rather than seeing just Wood on his way to the rim. Nice look inside. Shefflin with a jam. He does such a good job using his body and positioning himself. 
both the score and the rebound. You talk about a guy who's gotten better every year. He's a junior now out of Loganville, Georgia. He is shooting them much more often and making them at a very respectable clip this year than he did his first three years, two at Arkansas State, and then one here with Miami last year. Gerard with a cut in the layup. The transfer from Florida State. Poplar, counter. Boy, they are so dangerous in transition. Remember the days when you have a break, everybody runs to the rim? Those days are over. They are running to the three-point line. Fast break points now, 10-0 Miami. The answer at the other end for Joe Girard. Good fake. Hall into the paint, scoops it up and in, and P.J. Hall starting to assert himself here in the second half. P.J. Hall needs to get a little bit more assertive, and Keyshawn George closing out to him, the shot fake. Beadle, a lefty, scoops it in with a right and extends the lead for the Tigers. Picked a moment when the band had stopped before the ball was inbounded and just yelled at the student section, come on, let's go. He wants more noise here in this building tonight. Handoff for Joseph, thought about it. Deep one for George, and he hits it to tie the game. Keyshawn George, a freshman from Switzerland, and a guy who multiple NBA scouts come out to see every time Miami plays. Omir with a bucket, and down to George. They're trying to get the ball into Shefflin and take advantage of the size that he's got on Cleveland, but they haven't really been able to do it, and George at the other end to extend the lead. Omir banging with Hall up and in that's just pure strength and some skill and agility there from Norchad Omir They are down three in this one though on their home court Cleveland left alone and buries it to make it a six-point lead Shefflin for three yes, and boy did they need that a tough little shot from the short corner by Omir Beetle drives and hits, and it's a one-point game. Well, he's been aggressive driving the ball. The lefty driving right, going back to that left hand. Miami does not want to foul him, and Clemson's so far had the advantage from the foul line. George keeps his toe down and buries the three. What a big play by George. He's turned it over four times, but overall, he's played an excellent floor game. Only seven Hurricanes have played, and Michael Nwoko hasn't played much. Only five have scored. Chase Hunter with a corner three at the other end. Miami looking to reclaim the lead with six minutes to go. I go into Amir. Good hands by Chase Hunter. Packed, tries to save it, but it's Clemson ball. No look pass into the corner. Hunter's open again. Gerard the assist and the Tigers lead. Joseph, who's made three threes in this game. He's played very well for Miami off the bench. Shot clock running down there in trouble. Turned it over. Clark lays it in and the lead is five. Clemson took advantage of it. Just a mishandling of the ball on that Joseph pass to Matthew Cleveland. And Jack Clark taking it the other way for the easy score. Omir lays it up and in. Big bucket for Miami to get back within six. Omir will be at the line for the Canes when we come back. North Chad Omir makes the free throw now. 18 points, 12 rebounds. It's a five-point game. Hunter bursts to speed and lays it in. Shefflin, bigger than Cleveland, draws a double team and feeds his buddy Hall. And now they're all smiling for the Tigers. Decided there to double Ian Shefflin because that left P.J. Hall as open as he's been since warm-ups. Clark the turnaround. Got it. He looked at the shot clock at the other end of the court. Realized there were only two seconds on it. Tough turnaround. Hunter with the ball. Gerard floats it over to Hall, who will take a three and hit it. Acknowledges the student section on his way back down the court. This is an NCAA tournament team without question. Why not? Chase Hunter. Miami will just let 
The seconds tick away. Miami was in it for about 35 minutes, led it for several, but in the end, they suffer their third consecutive defeat, and the Clemson Tigers win their third in a row and do it in impressive fashion.